In chapter 30, a nursing sister tells Lin that Tibby's legs have been amputated under the knees. He's extremely ill and only family is allowed to visit him. And Lin says that she is his colleague. So breaking the rules, you can only visit him for two minutes only. And he's attached to various life support machines. And Lin notices his unnatural color and this very wild look in his eyes. Lin takes his hand and promises everything will be fine. They'll think of something. Lin is extremely upset by Tibby's situation and she realizes that she is probably the only one who cares. And that evening in the bath, she remembers her promise and tries to think of a solution for Tibby's immobility. She has a nightmare about Sprout and awakens sweating. She thinks about her mom's message, love you all, misses her mom quite a bit. And again, she's trying to convince herself that she won't consider prostitution you know after that event with Sprout seeing all those blue bills you can imagine this is a much faster way to make money than begging out on the streets because well as a beggar she was making like 150 to 200 rands a day as a as a woman of the night she was getting all these blue notes quite quickly hard and fast so yeah she's telling herself I'm not going to consider it but you know it's it's always there and she keeps flipping between the two 